So uh, this um, uh, channel is going to show now the presentation um, of, uh, um, of um, colleagues from the West Virginia University. Um, so uh, the title is Smart Trucking, a status of digital transformation of the trucking industry, a bibliometric uh, analysis. Uh, the author is our Mackenzie Keepers and Thorsten Wüst. We are really happy to see that paper in here, which has a little bit of a different content compared to the papers before. But I think it's a really interesting thing to have here at the 7th SERP E Global Web Conference. Um, thank you. We're going to watch the video now. Hi, my name is Mackenzie Keepers. I'm a first year PhD student at West Virginia University in the United States. Today I will be talking to you about smart trucking, the status of digital transformation of the trucking industry, a bibliometric analysis. The motivation for this research stems from a project with an industry partner developing new I4.0 fleet management platform for the trucking industry. I'll run you through a quick overview. First, I'll start off with an introduction to smart trucking and a bibliometric analysis. Then I'll explain how we conducted this analysis in the methodology and data section. Next, I will explain the results from the analysis. We will close up with our conclusions and an outlook on future research. Okay, on to the introduction where I will provide you with some background on the problem at hand and also put the research we conducted into a broader context. While it is fairly common to hear and see implementations of smart manufacturing and Industry 4.0 within a manufacturing setting, the application of these initiatives is only beginning to touch the trucking industry. We specifically chose to focus on only the trucking industry, so that means the part of transportation and logistics that directly involves a truck or tractor trailer. Currently, the trucking industry is mainly utilizing paper-based operations, even though there are technologies that exist that could aid in their smart transformation. One of the biggest problems currently faced by trucking companies is a shortage of drivers, which can be partially related to high delivery volume, tight deadlines, and that the truckers often want to be home at the end of the day. This way, they are no longer spending days at a time on the road and away from their family. The future state of smart trucking will see a plethora of real-time data. Ideally, the future of trucking companies will reap the benefits of the real-time data and have much higher operating efficiency through lower fuel consumption costs and more optimized routes ideally in real or near real time. As previously mentioned, we used a bibliometric analysis approach for this paper. We decided that we were interested in looking at the publications by year, authors by documents and citations, keywords, and research focus area clusters. The goal of this research was to identify areas in which the trucking industry is exploring technologies that point towards a software-defined process. On to methodology and data. Here we will discuss how we went about answering our research question of what is the status of Industry 4.0 technologies in data-driven analytics in the trucking industry? Okay, some more information about bibliometric analyses. A bibliometric analysis uses mathematical and statistical methods to quantify findings from literature as specified by the researchers. The findings from a bibliometric analysis are based on literature metadata and thus are often a generalized version of what may be discovered from a typical literature review. For this research, we use the bibliometric analysis tool, Boss Viewer, which is the industry standard and is widely used for bibliometric studies across different scholarly fields. We used Web of Science as the main data source because it provided additional high quality results than Scopus did, another well-known database. This helped ensure that we were addressing all relevant articles. We began with the incredibly broad topic of trucking, which returned 23,264 results, of which most were not related to our smart trucking focus. We then added the idea of real-time data to bring us closer to our desired topic. This resulted in 291 papers. We chose to refine our search to only include articles and proceedings papers from the last 10 years. This time frame also corresponds conveniently with the emergence of the term Industry 4.0 in 2011. We then narrowed down the papers to only 45 papers by reading titles and abstracts and ensuring that they clearly addressed the smart trucking topic and had a clear relation to the transportation of goods via truck or tractor trailer. 
These remaining 45 papers were used throughout the entirety of the bibliometric analysis. For analysis and visualizations, we used Microsoft Excel, Boss Viewer, and Web of Science analytics tools. We also subjectively grouped the 45 papers into categories to facilitate further conclusions. This clustering was based on information provided through the title, abstract, and in some cases, full paper. Now for the fun part, results and further discussions. First, we looked at the number of publications by year. From this, we can see an overall increase from 2010 through 2018. It's important to note that this data was pulled from the database in May of 2019, and at that time, only one paper had been published for 2019. We do not find this to be significant. We believe the overall increase in publications can be attributed to growth of smart principles in businesses and increased availability of smart technologies. Next, we examined the number of documents each author had published. The goal of this part of the analysis was to determine if there was a group or groups focused on this research field. It was determined that the authors with the most documents had only published two documents. These are shown here. This tells us that smart trucking has a lot of unexplored research opportunities, and we expect this topic to continue to grow in its significance in both academia and industry. Boss Viewer is a bibliometric analysis tool that provides users with almost any type of bibliometric data they're looking for. We used Boss Viewer specifically for looking at the author keywords. Boss Viewer clusters the keywords based on the keywords association strength to the other keywords. In general, the keywords that most highly associated with one another will be closer together. For our results, we see five total clusters, indicated by the five different colors here. We also see three clusters which are completely separated from one another. This tells us that this research area is lacking a connection between supply chains, networks, and information systems. These connections are absolutely vital in the shift towards smart trucking. In order to pull some additional insights, we decided to cluster the papers using our knowledge of the industry. We sorted the papers in three different groupings. By method, which was the research methodology used, either real data or theoretical, which included simulations methods. By mode, which talks about what type of trucking company and by what the paper primarily discussed. The top research focus areas were trucking locations and positions, sensors within the truck, and route optimization. This was no surprise to us because these seemed to be the basic aspects of running a profitable trucking company. We also found that neither research methodology, real data or theoretical, was more dominating among the papers included in our study. For transportation modes, the field was generally split between container and less than truckload operations. For further discussions, we found it very interesting that there were only three papers included in our analysis which focused on cold foods logistics. We expected there to be a large amount of papers focused in this area because it is a highly regulated portion of the trucking industry. Another key point is that there were no papers discussing parcel transportation. We think that parcel transportation did not show in our results because these problems are likely solved in-house by large companies like UPS, FedEx, and other postal services. These companies have the critical mass and motivation to optimize their operations and utilize proprietary solutions developed specifically for their needs and requirements. Now for some conclusions and future research. To sum up, Few publications were found which directly related with smart tracking. We believe this is because we are still in the early stages of the smart transformation. We also discussed a lack of connection between su supply chains, networks, and information systems in the keyword analysis. From the yearly distribution of papers, we saw that recent growth in this research field can be expected to continue. Lastly, the current main research focus areas include route optimization, vehicle positioning, and vehicle sensors. We believe that some future research opportunities for smart trucking include addressing the missing link between business and technological perspectives within the trucking industry. As the smart movement 
begins to grow within smart trucking and we begin to see increased data availability, research could focus more in fuel consumption reduction, new warehousing methods, routing, and how to fill the driver shortage, just to name a few opportunities. And finally, smart trucking is on the horizon. We believe that smart trucking still has quite a way to go, but the transition has definitely started. Thank you very much to the colleagues of West Virginia uh, for uh, having that paper, Smart Trucking, Status of Digital Transformation of the Trucking Industry, a Bibliometric Analysis in this conference, the seventh Serbi Global Web Conference. We're now uh, trying to get live here in the phone call um, the author, Mackenzie Keepers, uh, here with us. Hello, can you hear us? Hello. Ah, th thank you very much. Um, uh, for joining us. Je thank you very much. It's very early in the morning now at, at your place. Thanks for joining <laughs> us. Um, yeah. Can you tell a bit more, uh, the viewers, a bit more about the method that you have used and how uh, the bibliometric analysis is different from uh, literature reviews and uh, for what different purposes that may serve? Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me and thank you for the question. Um, so a bibliometric analysis is used to get a more statistical view out of the literature. Um, we don't take the time to read through the papers unless we absolutely have to, which is rare. Um, we chose to do a bibliometric analysis here just to get a quick overview. Um, and then typically after the bibliometric analysis, you would go through and do a literature review on the papers that you narrowed down to. Um, it gives you the ability to put some numbers to the qualitative word aspect of literature. Okay, Th thanks for sharing this insight. And thanks for putting that together in a, in a paper uh, over here. Um, now, the second question uh, would be um, about uh, the, 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 the motivation to do this uh, survey. It's, um, it's very interesting to say, okay, we have uh, these industry 4.0 things going on in manufacturing and we want to see what's going on in the trucking sector. Um, so can you tell a bit, us a bit more about the context uh, in which you uh, do this research? Yeah, thanks again for the question. Um, we chose to do this on smart trucking because we had a partnership that we were working with um, someone in industry over here and they are working on an electronic logging device and they just kind of wanted to know where we're going in the direction of smart trucking and cloud computing with data for trucking. And so we said, well, we don't know, let's find out. So we did our bibliometric analysis to be able to say, okay, there is some stuff going on with smart trucking and it started, but it's not really where we thought it might be by now compared to where smart manufacturing is going. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for sharing these insights additionally to the presentation that we have seen. Thanks for being available for that call from West Virginia. Mackenzie Keepers, goodbye. Thank you, bye-bye. Goodbye. So this was the presentation and the question and answer for the paper entitled Smart Trucking, Status of Digital Transformation of the Trucking Industry, a Bibliometric Analysis um, uh, authored by Mackenzie Keepers and Torsten Wüst, located at West Virginia University in the United States.